Three, two, one. It's an eerie feeling here at Clark Air Base as the schoolyard stands deserted. The base housing area has no one living in it anymore. It's just a ghost town virtually, and right now it just stands abandoned. Abandoned. Nobody's here. I'm Tony Umiski. <laughs> There it is, billowing up behind us, Mount Pinatuba. We've got some of the rocks from there, and uh, we're hoping that the volcano god doesn't take revenge upon us for taking them out of the country. But uh, this is a, uh, a unique opportunity, and I'm real glad that we came. And the people here are real happy that we're here. They've uh, been real enthusiastic. We've uh, been filming for only three days, and we've already got 88 interviews, and we've got uh, a lot of people that want to do them tomorrow on a walk-in, walk-up basis. So it's been a pretty successful trip. We're anxious to get back and uh, get the story out to the stations and do a good job on that end of it, too. But uh, looking up at that volcano, uh, and it's not that far away, well, I think I'll be glad when uh, Wednesday comes around and we're going in the opposite direction. Taking these home. Porous rocks. Real light. Plane will probably crash now. <laughs> I'm gonna kill McNally for this. Look at this godforsaken place. This is Hawaii. We're in Hawaii here. And, uh, it's about 35 freaking degrees. If you lived out here, you wouldn't have to worry about cutting the grass. Just trim the rocks up, baby. There you go. I got another comment to make here. I don't want to say that McNally comes prepared, but. We got caviar here. We got these uh, lovely things we're going to eat for lunch. This is uh, scalloped potatoes with ham. Now we've got uh, canned shingle. That's the one McNally's going to eat. We're all going to have fun watching him eat it. Kiss me, laddie. <laughs>